This robotic arm was inspired by Baxter, a robot by Rethink Robotics. And I noticed Adafruit started selling the analog feedback servos, and I said, well, that's exactly what's needed to make an arm like Baxter's. I'm going to push the train button, and I'm going to train the arm to perform a motion. And there's going to be that little black box I'm going to move over on to here. He's going to pick it up, and we'll just move it over here, drop the box, and then come back to normal. Place box there. Go ahead and start playing his motions and we'll see how good he gets. And then after the replay is finished, he goes back and centers himself. I have another button to just replay what was done, no training. So we'll go ahead and see if he can uh, perform his tasks again with the box in the same spot. As you notice, if you can tell from the video, it's a pretty close call. It takes a lot of time to learn how to use your hands to, to really train them right because there is a little bit of error built in to the servo motion, so he's not perfect all the time. But that's basically the point of Baxter, if you're familiar, is that you train him to do it once and then he'll just keep doing it over and over again. This is just a proof of concept video. Hopefully I can get a better arm, 3D printed, a little bit stronger, as well as the gripper. And I've got larger servos, the standard size rather than micro, to do a future version. Since it's going so well, we'll try to uh, train it again, we'll see what happens. It might not work, because um, like I said, it's, it's very new and very difficult to kind of like guess where it's going. It's still hard to read all the positions when you're training it, the hand's pretty flimsy. It's not exactly retail production quality, so to say. You see that time, he was off by a little bit, so he didn't pick it up. box back. When he's done with this cycle, I'm going to replay that training session, see if the position of the box moving made any difference or not. Yeah. Still off to the side there. Another big thing is the stability of the platform, it's, you know, if you notice, it's glued down to balsa wood, and you know I'm still holding it because I need to counteract that servo motion. So there's a lot of little bugs like that to work out. The gripper is by far not uh, optimal. This guy at that time. So it takes some time to train it, just like you would a person. But uh, this thing can run 24/7, and people can't. So. I hope you liked uh, this video. I'm really excited about this one. Be able to improve this design, make it a little bit stronger, and hopefully get the code a little bit less flaky so he doesn't move around as hectic and crazy. It's a basic layout, it's just Arduino, Arduino Uno, the servos, the 3D printed uh, hand and gripper arm. See so if you notice, on normal operation, the servos are detached to save power and so that the the server doesn't have to go crazy, uh, but all this stuff you can find on Thingiverse. I don't, I don't design a CAD. I don't know how to use CAD yet, so it's just all Thingiverse printable. If you see the joints and everything, they're they're pretty weak. They don't really. My printer's not exactly perfect for it, but um, you know, it's it's functional enough for these tests, like you see here. So hopefully there'll just be better improvements in the future. But um, you know, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, you know. I hope you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Share the video with your friends. Definitely give it a like just so uh, you can go ahead and show support for good old Navic 209 here on YouTube. And we'll see you next time, hopefully, with some big, vast, awesome improvements. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this arm. I know I've been waiting to do this for quite a long time, so I'm pretty excited about it. As always, thanks for watching.